Hey guys, Sean Savage here from Streaker Marine. And we got one of Australia's favorite tinnies here. It's the Quintrex F370 Outback Explorer. It's a whole new generation. It's been built to be the biggest possible boat to fit on top of the car as a car topper, but still a manageable boat to put on a trailer and use for the bay and coastal work as well. So what we're gonna do is put it in the water, go through some features, see it, check out its stability, performance. We're running the maximum horsepower today, which is the Yamaha 25 horsepower four stroke. So we think that's gonna go really, really well. And we'll, uh, we'll give you our thoughts by the end of the test. Okay, so my first initial thoughts once the boat goes in the water, and this is the first time I've been in the F370 out in the water before, is it is very, very stable. You can walk from one side to the other very comfortably. If you're at the back of the boat or the front of the boat, it seems to do the same thing. So you won't have any dramas with fishing, casting. You can stand up here and cast quite comfortably and do what you want to do. But the thing you've got to realize with the F370 is it is capable of two different types of boating. It's the biggest boat you'll fit on the roof of the car. It's 98 kilo, but you'll see the whole top deck. So all the cleats and everything are all flush with the top deck. So you can easily push it up on top of the car if you've got the appropriate rack and you can go away camping with the caravan and everything and have the biggest possible boat you can on the roof. But on the other hand, like we have today, we're on a trailer. So we can keep this at home. It's very, very easy to store, have it on a trailer, Ilden, Port Phillip Bay, wherever you want to go. Today we're out in Port Phillip Bay. We're going to give it a test out in the bay and give it a good run. But it feels like it's a very capable boat. It's sort of the smallest boat you put on the trailer and the biggest car you put on a, a, as a car topper. We've optioned this boat up with two things. One is the level floor in the center here, just to make everything nice and flat. The must for me is the rear fuel tank rack. The rear fuel tank rack, what that'll do is make the back section flat. So fuel tanks, batteries, all those sort of things we can uh, store those properly and nice and flat and tie them down properly. So that's awesome. Um, the two things I've noticed in the spec sheet that maybe would have been nice is to have extruded side decks. It's not an option, so it's something to be you know, you're gonna consider, is there's no flat section on the top here to mount your rod holders or to, um, to sit on or anything. Remembering that there is a brand called Railblazer that makes fittings that actually go into here for rod holders and drink holders and bait boards and things. The other thing you can't do if you're a hardcore fisherman is there's no factory option for an electric motor bracket at the front there. So there are two things you're going to consider. Remembering you're on a 3.7 meter boat. Um, one thing I was surprised with is the amount of horsepower the boat can take. We're running maximum horsepower today, which is the Yamaha 25 horsepower. And I think the 25 is going to go really well. We're about to find that out when we hit the water. Um, this, this motor is the manual start motor. So it doesn't have electric start. It is an option. But right now, we're not running a battery in the boat. So we've got no 12 volt gear in here, which would be fantastic if you're a car topper. So what we'll do is we'll, uh, we'll hit the water. We'll give it a good run. We'll put two people in the boat as well to have appropriate sort of loads. But I don't think we're going to run out of horsepower. And we'll, uh, we'll put the hull to the test. All right, guys, here we are out in Port Phillip Bay. It's a uh, northerly you know, quarter of a sort of meter, um, just under. It's, it's a little bit breezy, a little bit choppy. It's perfect conditions for testing out the F370. Remember, we're in a, we're in a 37 meter boat. One thing you do sort of realize once you're in this for a little while is it carries its beam so far forward. So when you get that front seat, it's still massive. So what that gives us, gives us two things. It gives us more width throughout the front of the boat, gives more stability. I find that it cuts the water and pushes the water away really well. So for the breeze that we have and the chop, I've stated really dry. Um, but I've got this big flat surface at the front here, so it's great casting. We can run a front casting platform. We can do whatever we like. We do have maximum horsepower, so it's a little bit heavier than uh, its smaller versions, the 15s and the 20s and stuff. But um, I find with this motor, all you need to do is just plane a little bit quicker. And if you're running a little bit of weight, uh, fridges and eskies and things, just have them a little bit further forward, possibly once you're up and going. So what we're going to do is we're going to do everything the boat shouldn't like. We're go straight into the breeze, straight into the chop. We're going to accelerate. Um, there might be a bit of wind noise, so I'm not sure if you're about to hear me, but we'll go to sort of accelerate, quarter throttle, we'll go to half throttle, we'll get the full throttle, we'll do some turns and uh, see how she handles. One thing I have found quite comfortable with is this bit right here. That's, that's where I like to hang on to. That works well for me. So we're going to get up on the plane and get going. 
So it does get up very efficiently. This is quarter throttle. We're chugging along, we're straight into the wind, straight into the breeze. We're safe, we're dry. I might actually just tighten up that steering damper a little bit. We can do this all day, you know? So if you're coming home from places like Lake Eildon or even out in the bay and it starts to blow up and you want to get home, you can sit on that, what I would suggest, or the, the boat. Um, it does about 45 kilometers an hour full throttle. So right now we're probably doing 18 to 20. I would suggest I don't have a speedo. Um, saying that, I do have a speedo. All right, let's do that again. Throttle. I said 18 to 20. We're doing 26. There you go, eh? So that's pretty cool because it shows us that at 26 kilometers an hour, the boat doesn't feel like it's working hard. We're going through a decent chop right now. It's every bit of a quarter of a meter. And uh, we're going to get going a bit more. So that sort of half throttle. Boat sits a little bit flatter at that speed. I haven't had one drip on me yet. We are just chugging along really nicely. We're doing 35 kilometers an hour. We're on top of the water. We're working, we're going pretty good. That's as fast as you'd ever need to go. I mean, you don't have to go any faster than that, but we are testing the boat, so let's test the boat. Open her out. Full throttle. I'm not hanging on, remember? I got one hand on the tiller, one hand on the, on the speedo. We're doing 44 kilometers an hour. I haven't had a drip. Watch that water just get dispersed. As I'm going, it's just pushing the water away. Boat's sitting unreal. Slow it down. Back to that sort of 30. She loves it there. Uh, even 35, you know, it's going really well. We'll put her into a turn. You know, choppy water. Boat sits level, doesn't lean. Doesn't sort of fall over to a side. A bit of a spray when we're turning. Popping a bit of water there. The other way. Remember, we're doing 35 kilometers an hour, which it just doesn't feel that, especially in this water. Slow it down. Look at that. The bow that sits up that little bit more. Happy to do that. I reckon if we do that turn again at mid 20s, we won't get wet. Let's find out. Oh, there you go. All right, let's do it. Yeah, look at that. That little bit slower, the boat just sits that little bit higher at the bow. Then, but remember, we're in 10, 12 knot sort of breeze. Now we're in a following sea, just chugging along 33 kilometers an hour. Let's see how slow we can stay on the plane. We're doing 19 kilometers an hour, we're falling off. There we go. That 17 to 19 is playing in on top of the water. So, you know, you got the wife, a couple of kids, the dog, all the camping gear, you're going along and it's choppy like it is today. We're doing 18, 19 kilometers an hour and you couldn't be more comfortable. Now, you've got to remember, this boat can sit on top of your typical four-wheel drive. It's 98 kilos and it's designed to be a car topper. We're doing 44 kilometers an hour into an over a quarter of a meter chop in Port Phillip Bay and the thing was absolutely loving it. That, that's crazy, it's, you know, you think little car toppers, you think, oh, you know, 20 kilometers an hour, any sign of a wave or out of there, this thing's a weapon. So it is a very good boat out in the bay and it's a very good boat to put on a trailer and, you know, go to Ilden one weekend and then be in Gippsland Lakes the next. So um, I, hope, I hope you've enjoyed the video. I'm just gonna slow it down. We'll have a little walk, look around for a sec. And um, if you have any questions, please do contact us here at Streaker Marine. We're in Melbourne, Victoria. We're a premium Quintrix dealer. We're sold Yamaha. Um, we feel like we've got the best products and we give our customers the best customer service. So if you have any questions, please let us know and we'd, uh, we'd love to help you.